everybody, this is Zachary Scott Johnson, The Song A Day Project, where I try to record a song a day every day for as long as I can keep doing that. Doing a brand new original song today. This is called The First Two Weeks of Trump Pence. It's been two weeks since a fateful day that we're living in for me. Man who vilified a great president now wants unity. He won't say he's wrong because he never does. But we can all see that he's scared. So let's examine what's happened in these two weeks in the lives of this nightmare of a pain. Trump and Tents and their transition team full of bigots of all varieties. Some hate women, some hate the LGBT. They all seem to hate minorities. Our vice president-elect doesn't believe in evolution So I guess I don't know what to say They've doubled down and brought in a climate change denier To set up the EPA Ooh. Oh, and then there's a fraud case he settled And hopefully might not notice Cause he did it late on a Friday afternoon and Really, what president hasn't had a lawsuit or two or 3,500? Yeah, he's a real tycoon. It's unprecedented for someone so unquestionably corrupt to hold the highest office in the land. All those saying Hillary was corrupt have mysteriously buried their heads in the sand. Won't denounce the 500 plus reported hate crimes committed in Trump's name. But they'll denounce the cast of Hamilton and cry about Mike Pence's shame. Yeah. The man who created legislation that allowed open discrimination in Indiana against the gay community now turns and runs up the steps of a theater rather than confront an opportunity to make someone else's life better. No, that's only if you're rich, straight, male, and white skinned. Those are the ones they're speaking of when they use that phrase, real Americans. And Pence has his own email scandal cooking. He said he won't turn any of his emails in. I guess emails only really matter even when your last name is Clinton. Mm -hmm. Ooh. The security concerns they have with Hillary no longer apply when it's about Trump and his brood. Talking with foreign dignitaries on an unsecured phone. Security clearances for his kids were all getting screwed. New York gets charged a million dollars a day in police protection of his wife and kids. Isn't it odd that that's never a problem for all those alleged fiscal conservatives? He seems to hate free speech when it's critical of him, and I think we should be scared. Cause the biggest bully around has a thinnest skin, and he seems so ill-prepared. He'll have his hand on the trigger. I think he just might take us back to war. He can't defeat ISIS with a 140 character tweet and really, isn't that all he's good for? Trump doesn't even want to stay at the White House Not enough amenities for a man of his taste Trump Tower is the place where all that bitter anger will be displaced In 2.30 a.m. Twitter meltdowns against celebrities he's tried and failed to screw This man with double-digit sexual assault accusers Will rage against the disgusting pigs on the panel of The View To say there's nothing presidential about this man is the understatement of the year and if I haven't yet, let me make one thing abundantly clear. He does not represent me, and he will not ever stifle my voice. And by about two million votes, Hillary Clinton was very clearly this nation's choice. Two of the five elections I voted in in my life have been stolen by Republicans. And he swore up and down that he had no chance, because this one was rigged against him. So I guess he rigged it right on back with the help of Kami, Putin, and WikiLeaks. But all that's gonna happen now is we're gonna take this nasty fight to the streets. The 
protests that he encouraged in 2012 now against him are un-American and every claim his supporters made against Clinton every single one can be proved of him as corrupt as they come and let's not forget this unhinged, sexist, racist, homophobic, xenophobic, criminal monster isn't even in office yet. Ooh.